The next method that we are going to learn is called ion electron method because it involves both reduction and oxidation process. We know when oxidation reaction happens, there will be an increase in the oxidation number. And when reduction reaction happens, there will be a decrease in the oxidation number. For example, let's look at this reaction. You can see that the sodium atom has an increase in oxidation number from 0 to positive 1. And chlorine gas is reduced to become sodium chloride and the oxidation number decrease to negative 1. We will be doing the balancing in an acidic medium and also in basic medium. Let's do example 1.13. Question is the oxidation of ferrum 2 plus to ferrum 3 plus by Cr2O7, a dichromate ion, uh, is uh, as shown. Um, balance it in basic solution. Firstly, you need to write the unbalanced equation. And then uh, you can see uh, ferrum 2 plus is the reactant, dichromate ion is the reactant, it becomes ferrum 3 plus and Cr3 plus. The second step is to separate the equation into two half reactions. So we can see that the ferrum increases the oxidation number, therefore, it is oxidation from, from 2 plus to 3 plus. And the reduction would be from dichromate ion to become chromium ion, 3 plus. Next, we balance the atom other than oxygen and hydrogen in each half of reaction. The ferrum is already stable, 1, 1. But for dichromate, you need to add 2 at Cr3 plus to make it balance. The next step is for us to add H2O to balance the oxygen and hydrogen atoms. On the right, we have 2Cr3+. On the left, we have Cr2O7 2 minus. In that dichromate molecule polyatomic ion, we have 7 oxygen atom. So we need to add 7 molecules of water. With added uh, seven molecules of water, we have to add another um, item, H+. Uh, on the left, uh, how many? 14, because 7 times 2 molecules of uh, water, because there are 2 hydrogen in 1 molecule of water. So, this is how to make uh, oxygen and hydrogen balance in one half uh, cell equation. Next, we add electron to one side of each half reaction to balance the charges on half reaction. For ferrum, we add electron to Fe3+. This will make the charge balance on the left 2+, on the right 2+. For the second half equation, we have to add 6 electron. Why? Dichromate has 2 minus plus 14 plus. This is actually positive 12. What about on the right? 2 times 3 plus is 6 plus. So 6 plus on the right, 12 plus on the left. How are you going to make it the same? By adding electron on the left. Because when you add minus 6 with plus 12, you're going to get plus 6. Ah, that is balance. If necessary, equalize the number of electrons by multiplying the half cell reaction with appropriate coefficient. So for ferrum there, you need to multiply by 6. You can just put the cross on the 
uh, six electron on the right and the six electron on the left. And we are going to total them up. Uh, this is the final answer if the question asks you to write the answer in an acidic medium because you have 14 H plus there. Now let's verify whether the number of atoms and the charges are balanced. Okay, that's the calculation. All the charges is 24. Okay. So now we want to answer the question because it wants us to make the answer in basic solution. We need to add the same amount of OH minus to H plus and uh, to both sides. So we are going to get 14 H2O on the left side, uh, like this. So the answer would be simplifying the equation. 14 H2O on the left will cross off with 7 H2O on the right. So it will be left with 7 H2O on the left. And on the right, there is still 14 OH minus. And here, the answer is final. You are going to get 5 marks until this step. Okay, that's it for lesson 6. Thank you very much for watching and listening. We hope you understand everything. Uh, see you again next time. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.